operation of shift lifting gears. No person is to be allowed to operate lifting equipment without adequate training and familiarization with the operating structure. Trained person are to be issued certificates with record formal training and approval to use the appliance. No appliance is to be operated in manner other than described in the operating structure. Persons who are permitted to operate equipment or assist in the operation of lifting equipment are to be fully conversant with the appropriate section of the code of safe working practice. All lifting appliances are subject to load testing every five years with annual intermediate examination, examination a register of lifting appliance and items of loose gear is to be maintained up to date and ready for inspection by any regular authority. Lifting appliance must not be operated outside their design limits regarding safe working or wire speed, less trim or dynamic movement of the cell. All these limitations are to be clear with a mark on the appliance. Control are to be perman permanently and clear clearly marked with their function and operating direction and instruction where special ins instructions are applicable to securing and unsecuring of the equipment. This shall be separately detailed in clear manner. Control must be not modified in any way from their original specification. All fitted safety device limits which is cut off or power Poles or to be kept in a good working order and tested regularly. Safe device must never be isolated over, over then. Lifting appliance must always be attended when in the position when work is completed. The appliance is to be secured as applicable in the power turn off. Personnel who are operating with equipment mutual have no other duties and must have clear view of the operation where it is not possible. A train sig signaler is to be used to give direction instruction to the operator. Signal use or to comply with this detail, the code of safe working practice, personnel and signal must not allow the lo loads to pass over themselves. Transfer by personnel and basket. Under certain circumstances, the use of personal basket lifted by the ships for in present less risk than use of gangways or pilot ladders for access to the ship. Transferred by personnel basket is only permitted sub subject to following conditions. That the local regulation enforce permit the use of personal transfer by basket. That the personal basket has the appropriate certification. That the crane has been load tested in the presence of classification flag with fibers and inappropriate annual examination have been carried out. In addition, prior to arrival in any area where the use of baskets is probably the crane is to be strictly checked both mechanically and operationally by the chief engineer and the chief officer. This to be verified by a log entry to the effect that this examination has been carried out. The risk assessment is carried out and this method is transferred present the option with least risk that the oper operating procedure is documented including parameters such as whether it see that the person driving the crane must have received appropriate training and instruction. That were transfers over water life jacket are worn by all personnel being transferred as all personnel including those being transferred are briefed in the transfer procedure that in normal type of basket use personal travel on the outside of the basket and, and luggage on the inside. The transfer of personnel is voluntary and the discretion of master or master dependent whether it's ship to ship or ship to shore transfer. In the context of ship crane, the following terms explain first racing or lowering. This is where the hook is raised or lowered with the jib at press. Second, sewing. This is where the crane jib is transferred horizontally with the hook at press. Third, laughing. This is where the crane jib is raised or lowered vertically with the hook at press. Sewing and securing of cargo cranes. In many cases, especially on board containers, diesel equipped with cargo cranes, shore again. Gantry cranes are used for loading and discharging. In such cases, the vessel owned cargo cranes are not in use and they have to be slowed prior to be commen commencing of cargo operation towards the sea. At the right angles to the ship access after cargo operation, the jibs have to be secured back into the crouch. This operation has to be authorized by the chief officer who has to assure that those shore or sea obstruction are in the way of the of the jibs while they are operated. Sometimes, it is necessary to move 
the leaves while shore or sea obstructions such as can free cranes are in cold vicinity of objects but as this will increase the possibility to make contact with them they are responsible for man stevator for man has to be consulted to seek verbal confirmation that all non vessel crane drivers are, are alerted and will not move their cranes toward the vessel cargo crane jeep the vessel is not to leave the bird until fully secured for sea even if the even if tugs tugs are alongside and the pilot is on board waiting to sail.